What's up, everybody? Uh, it's your boy, Nakia Brabham, a.k.a. Big Knox. Um, just here to share a little bit of uh, what I've been working on uh, with my 3D models lately. Um, I have have uh, really not done any 3D models in a while because I've been uh, focused on other areas, um, such as I've been doing a lot of laser engraving, a lot of logo design, and uh, and 2D animation lately. Um, so I just really just felt like getting back into doing 3D modeling. I'm sorry. Oh. So anyway, I um, have this uh, ship that I just had an idea for that I figured I'd just work on, whatever. And I um, just want to show you some of the things and some of the things I'm encountering um, and facing while trying to design it or whatever. This is, this is kind of like a, a, a real good starter thing to get me kind of back into uh, modeling, 3D modeling and, and 3D animation. Um, so let me uh, just go ahead and show you what I got. Here it is. Here it is. Let me get a top view. I call this ship right here. Excuse me. Call this ship right here the cursor <laughs> and you probably see why because it is shaped like a like a cursor so i was like oh, i'm gonna call my ship the cursor um but i just I, I sketched something out the other day and um it came out like this and i was like okay well i'm a, i got a little sketch together now i gotta try to model it and kind of make have it make some kind of sense that kind of sense like, I mean, this is all fantasy anyway, so it doesn't have to make perfect sense or perfect scientific sense. Uh, it doesn't even have to work in real life, but make it look like it could like possibly work in real life. That's the secret to building a good ship. Um, let's get a front view real quick. All right. So here we go. Here is the front view of the ship. All right. And now this is not a totally done ship. This is a ship in progress. So there's gonna be pieces missing. It might look like um, it's not. It might look undone, like it's not done yet. So, I, but just realize I'm working on it. I'm getting there. Uh, here's side view. All right. So now I'll show you what I got so far, and then I'm gonna talk to you about what I'm gonna try to add to kind of build the ship up more. Um, first, let's talk about. Let's see. What are we talking about here? The most prominent thing would be these turbines. I got four turbines. All right, so when I originally uh, sketched this out, it was just these two big turbines on the back and then the rest of the ship. Kind of basically, it was shaped like this, maybe a little simpler, but it was this is the basic shape that I had on the paper with these big turbines. So I'm thinking, I was like, okay, I got these big turbines on here. So it gave me the feeling like, okay, this is almost like a drone. Like the drone copters we have these days, you know, this thing can kind of like, doesn't have to keep moving forward or backwards. It can kind of hover in the air. But I was like, yo, you know, I don't know any drones that I have that only have two, you know, two uh, propellers on it, you know. And if there's just two propellers in the back, these things kind of like are like pulling upwards. What's happening to the front? The front's going to just dip down. So then I said, okay, I could make these copy them duplicate them bring them up front now i got two up front so these i figured okay the heavier part of the ship is in the back it's lighter in the front it don't need much in the front just balance it out listen to this so got that um as far as like for thrust i'm going to be putting some um thrusters in this area back here so that's what i'm going to be working on next putting thrusters in this area here right um now if this thing is flying forward top speed thrusters in the back shooting these turbines aren't going at that point um it's just the thrust is working now say if it wants to come to a stop so it could hover that's gonna be kind of hard as things moving fast i figured right here would be some like breaking thrusters to put here like so it was going forward it needs to break quickly these thrusters here 
would slow the ship down quickly enough, and then these these turbines would take over. Um, now, thinking about that, whoever's in this thing is going to be, like, you ever have a car going and the car has to stop on a dime, and you kind of, like, jerk forward, and, I mean, and that, that uh, seatbelt cuts into you? I figured that could be happening to our person in this compartment, but I was like, okay, this is a futuristic vehicle, so maybe there's some sort of technology uh, that stops that from happening. We got to suspend our uh, our uh, our logic here a little bit and just leave. Let's believe, let's have faith that this thing has some sort of technology that stops the person from jerking forward. Some sort of system inside that activates when the canopy is down that stops that person from uh, going forward when this thing stops on a dime like that. But so this thing can't stop on a dime. This thing can be flying forward, stop on a dime, hover. Uh, if it needs to do any maneuvers, these turbines kick in. This thing could uh, could flip upside down immediately. Um, could flip uh, with these if, these. if it's going forward, these things shoot on. It could flip over upside down the other way real quick. I mean, so I'm thinking like the maneuverability on this thing is going to be amazing. It could do what normal ships can't do. Um, so that's what I got on there. That's that was my thought process. Um, started building in some weapon systems here, so I can get a good look at these weapons. Let's see what can I get. Can I get some of these? Ones? There you go. Bring the dreams in. So I have right here uh, these guns on each side. I try to make them look kind of like different. The normal gun, I didn't want just a tube, like a, just a cylinder coming out here, uh, like a barrel, whatever. I wanted to make it kind of, kind of futuristic, so I did that a little bit. Um, I gave it just a different feel to it. All right. Now, I was like, okay, well, this thing needs to drop some sort of bombs or whatever. So, uh, bomb-wise, what I did was I gave this thing these little... Um, balls right here with the claw on them let me see if I can zoom in it's got a claw on it kind of holds these things in place and this thing can extend out when it's ready to drop it extend out and drop these little balls which is a futuristic sort of like bomb it's a futuristic bomb so my thought is that this thing is programmable this thing can, thing can be um, programmed to drop and explode um, can be programmed to drop and emit some sort of EMP. Um, uh, it could uh, maybe be programmed to drop and have a black hole effect where it sucks everything in. Um, so the, the pilot would pick it, would pick something um, in the cockpit and then this thing would be programmed really quick by the systems in the spaceship before it's extended and dropped. So it's versatile, it could do all of those things. And then it'll hold more inside the wing. So drops one, pulls back in, gets reloaded, and then goes into position, ready to drop the next one before it shoots out, drops the next one. So that's my thought process on there. All right, got my canopy here. Um, nice, cool blue uh, glass. Um, what else I got here? I got my uh, lights right here, which uh, I still got to do some smoothing on here. And some uh, do I'll use like the subdivision surface uh, thing here, smooth this out. Um, so it's, like I said, it's a work in progress. But these are my lights, and let's you get a quick look at what these look like. Let's see. Um, I think they're gonna be real cool. Let's see. I just zoom out a little bit more. Cool. Let's take a look at let's get rid of this last one. Let's see. What we got? Uh Come on, give it to me. There it is. <clears throat> yeah, 
this. So I got these lights under me. Um, what's my thing? How was the thing? How's the thing gonna operate in the dark? Um, so I had to give it some lights. And so basically, these are um, these meshes here are have emission materials on them, and then I have lights set up right in front of them, so I can get that sort of like it's emitting light over here. So. Um, at least that's the way I'm handling it. Now, if anybody knows any better way to do lights, um, you'll tell me. Uh, hit me up. Hit me up in the comments and let me know. But that's how I'm doing it at the moment because what came to mind right away for me. Um, let's see. What else we got going on here? All right. Landing. Landing. I have to figure out landing. So I got this thing right here, which when it lands, it'll come down here, right? Something sort of like that. And uh, what do you call it? I have some gears. Uh, I have something that extends with it. So this will be like a foot, you know, extend that. But it's just not going to just lay on its belly. Um, it is going to, let's see what we can do. These things right here, these two things, I have two of them. One, two. They will uh, extend down as well. Not really ex not really straight down like it is. What I'll do is I'll have a, where I'll rotate from here, and this part will come down. So it'll, it'll, it'll kind of rest on this edge of it, and same on this side. And then that foot will come down, that tower to rest. It's kind of a, I think, like a different way to uh, do it. Instead of just having, you know, just regular you know, four feet come down. And, you know, like you see in every other, um, on every other spaceship. So that was my way of thinking to do it. That was a little bit different. Um, what else we got? What else we got? What else we got? What else? I know I'm y'all I'm, I'm to death. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. So, and then after that, I am going to look at a, uh, some other people's spaceships to get an idea of how I want to uh, texture this. You know, um, am I just going to just, uh, you know, um, split this apart so I can get the so I can texture it from here, or am I take it into ZBrush and paint it with ZBrush? And then import it back to here that way. Um, so I gotta figure out what I want to do, but I got I gotta look up some good um, some good textures, some good things to look. Cause I don't want this thing to look like it's like it's brand new. You know, I want it to look like it's it's been through a little bit. It's a little dirty. It's a little scuffed. You know, um, it's been it's seen some stuff. You know, it's seen some things. Uh, what else we got going on here? What else? Oh, today I want to put some fins on the back of here um, to kind of break up this flatness a little bit. I don't want to put long fins. I want to put short fins. You know how you know how Batman's cow. You know, over the years he's his, his fins got longer and then shorter, longer, shorter, shorter, shorter. I don't want the long. I don't want the long ears. I want the short ones. Where the short ones? The short ones was back in the Adam West days. I want little ones like that, little ones. So um, I don't know. Maybe I will do that right now. Probably uh, can should I? Maybe and maybe not. Let's see what I got. Let's uh let's let's uh. Be open this in case I, in case I made any um. Cloud open, open weekend, cursor ship. There you go. There you go. Alright, here we go. <sighs> Let's see what we got. Let's um. I'm 
gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna throw a modifier on there. We are gonna mirror this bad boy. All right. And then, you know what would be better? I'm check that, check that. Let's just let's get rid of that guy. Let's do. You will be spear. Let's modify that. All right. Move you over here. All right. Let's get rid of all of you guys. Let's uh, go from the top. Move on there. Let's get you to the side that I want you. Let's see what this is looking like. Hmm. What is this do? Nope. Okay, I want to kind of Let's see what it looks like first. On our hull. All right. <coughs> okay, They're short like I want them. So what I want to do is I want to add a little, I want to add a little spice to this, a little spice. So what I want to do is I want to come out All right, let's do this. Let's try this. Kind of want to
to. All right, I'm, I'm not talking much, but I'm, I'm I'm thinking through my process while I do it. I want you here. I'm trying to give it that little extra, um, that little extra, you know. extra oomph to it so I'm trying to get I know some of you are probably going crazy. Like, why is he selecting them in this fashion? Only because I forgot what helps me select them all at once along the line. That was, so I got to refresh my memory. And besides that, I, I am so used to using Maya instead of Blender. Um, but I just have resigned myself to that. Like, I need to really get into Blender. Because Blender is getting so good. And I know another thing. Probably, I was like, yeah, it's been good for a while. You're talking about it's just getting good. <laughs> it's been good for a minute. Big Knox. Alright, let's see. I'm going to give it that little extra oomphity. There you go, that little extra oomphity, oomphity oomph. Alright. So I'm a little fins on it. So what I want to do is I want to throw Smooth this thing out. Smooth this baby out. You know what I could do though? I realize some of these faces I don't need. I didn't select any faces I don't want. I want to keep my f my face count uh, as low as I can. Okay, 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 okay. It's cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, let's get to the nitty grizzity of this. I want to be able to. All right, so this looks more like it's a piece of hardware instead of. We're gonna get some rid of some of these soft curves into it. So we're going to go here, here. Get that a little crisper. Let's crispy this thing up a little bit.
How's it looking, my friend? I'm breaking up some of that monotony on the top. Cool. I just like the way it looks with kind of like the, the, the color of it. Anyway, that's what I've been working on. That's what I've been doing. Um, and like I said, this is just a, a labor of love. I don't have any projects coming up that need me to do this. But I'm just kind of doing this to get myself acclimated with Blender and um, work with some of the tools and um, just kind of get myself back in the habit of doing 3D models. Um, and it was, this is something I felt was fairly easy. So um, I'm just going to keep on refining it, getting to the point where I want to be able to um, get everything smoothed out, uh, get everything... Um, all of my controls in it so that my canopy lifts up from a control uh the feet come down from a control my turbines uh uh spin um and then i want to i want to make sure that it's textured correctly and then uh i may put it out on some projects i may put it into some into some uh film or something you know put it into a real life setting maybe have it fly overhead see how it looks once i get my lighting correct and everything but um, hit me up. Let me know your thoughts on it. Any advice? I always take advice. You know, I'm not the end all, know all of everything. But you know, I always take advice. And uh, if you need anything, the only thing for me, ask in the comments. I'll gladly look through the comments and answer questions and things like that. But uh, once again, it's your boy Nakia Brabham, aka Big Knox, and you know, I appreciate you tuning in. Now I know that you know that they know. Yeah.